Let's go to Dr. Neil Hudson. Neil. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I welcome the prospect of a productive trade agreement with our closest friends in Australia, but it has to be right for both partners. As a vet who has worked on farms in the UK and Australia, I very much welcome confirmation from the Prime Minister yesterday in the House that this deal will be the first ever to incorporate high animal welfare standards. Will my right honourable friend reassure the farmers and food producers in Cumbria and across the UK that tariff rate quotas and animal welfare clauses will be used in the agreement to safeguard it and that the Trade and Agriculture Commission will be constituted in time to allow for meaningful parliamentary scrutiny of this deal so we get it right for farmers, producers and not least animals in both our countries? Secretary Truss. I can confirm to my honourable friend that there will be an animal welfare chapter in the agreement. We've published the outlines of that in the AIP document uh, that we've put online today. Uh, I can also confirm to him there will be a transition period of 15 years, uh, which will give significant time to our farmers, both to uh, work on this, but also to expand exports into these important markets in CPTPP. And I recognise my honourable friend's expertise in this area, and I very much welcome his engagement as we approach the signing process.